So I'm James, uh, James Absalom, CEO of Walter James, and I've been with RE for ooh, seven years now, since March 2015. Um, I think I was the fifth investment in the portfolio. Seems like a long time ago now, though. Um, I basically run the first real executive search business within um, the RE portfolio, which was obviously very different to some of the other businesses that are there, but we focus exclusively on the world of consumer, retail and life sciences, and we operate across four very specialist functions, which is supply chain, R&D, commercial and corporate functions. I mean, RE as a business is, you know, it, it's your partner. It really is something that allows you to focus on growing your business. I think there's many founders out there that have realized that yes, it's okay and easy to make money at home, but actually doing all things like your VAT returns, your payroll, your credit control, et cetera, et cetera, makes it really, really difficult to focus the time on the commercial side. I think what RE do very well is they give us that freedom and time to really be able to, you know, really focus on the things that matter to grow your business. But the good news is, is you're also educated and you have that professional development around these skills yourself so whether it's understanding financials or marketing or credit control which makes you a really sort of well-rounded business individual. I think the biggest advice I would give um, to anyone that's considering investment is that once you enter into this area where you have a investment partner you're doing it to create something of value that can ultimately sell or, or scale which is a very different mindset to sitting in your bedroom at home or a small office. And I think it's really important to do the personal you know, self, self thinking and due diligence around is that the journey you want to take? Because it's, it's hard work, you know, it is demanding, but obviously the rewards are enormous. Um, you know, I think there's lots of people that have tried it and sometimes failed because they have not really thought about what it takes to scale something to that level. But this is again where RE come in to really help you go through that journey and, and why they take people that have got great passion and determination um, and make a success of them. I think the, the hardest thing about starting a recruitment business is actually choosing a sector that you know that you're going to be passionate about, that has legs and will be sustainable and it's not just something to make a quick buck. I think every sector you do from you know hiring the most bizarre sectors in the world will have competitors. You know, it's one of the most competitive jobs you can do. And I think you've just got to do the real strategic thinking around why am I choosing this market? You know, SWOT analysis basically. You know, what, what, what is in it for me? Why, why is it a sector that I want to get involved in? I think the key thing is, is you know, we always say it, and it's, it's said in our ear, it's having the right clients, the right candidates, and the right consultants. And the biggest advice I would say is, can you attract people to join you? That's the hardest part. It's not about can you do the sales, that's a consultant's job. It's when you start recruiting business, have I got the market, can I attract people to work for me, and will we have fun doing it? I think one of the things I've always done really successfully is constantly be my biggest critic. And you know, no one year in recruitment is the same as the next, so I'm always thinking, you know, what do I need to do differently? And after this crazy pandemic we've just been through, I think one of the most important things that I've realized is just building trusted relationships, having transparency, being honest and just being a real person. I think perhaps recruitment previously was tarred a bit of a sales brush, but actually the best way to sell and the best way to build engagement and drive sales is by being honest and by being really genuine. So that would be my first sort of major top tip is just continue to do that. The second part is just think commercially. You know, it's not a transactional business. Everyone thinks recruitment is transactional. It's about consulting, it's about being, you know, seeking out opportunities and identifying trends in the market, it's having your finger on the pulse, it's being able to identify what competitors are doing and really be that insights fountain for your clients to actually learn from because again that commerciality and always looking for opportunities builds rapport and it builds engagement um, and, and I guess the third one for me would be very much around always review what you've done over the last sort of three months, you know don't think of it as this year or next year you know, think, what did I do in January to March that went well, what could go better, and constantly be breaking the year down into four different segments, because a year is a long time, but it's actually not before you know it, you are at the end of the year, and having those constant review points and, and check-ins can be really useful.